Hello guys, welcome back to the Debug Arena. In this video, I will create a beautiful login and a register page for our React Native application. Also, I will do field validation of all the fields present in that page. Then in the next video, I will integrate Node.js and MongoDB with our application so that we can register and log in as a user dynamically directly from database. So first, let me show what I mean by field validation. You can see here, this is my login page where I am having these two input boxes. There is not much field validation here. Due to that, I will go to my register page from here. And you can see here, I am having four different type of input boxes. And all these input boxes will accept different type of data format. Like in name, user must have to enter the name whose length should be greater than 1. In email, user must have to enter the email which is in proper format. Otherwise, we will not accept it. So you can see. If I enter here A, I am getting this message, name should be more than one character. Also, I am getting this red error mark. The moment I enter one more character, I am getting this green mark. That means this format is accepted. Same for email. If I enter some random email here, I am getting the message. The moment I enter the correct email, I am getting this thumbs up. That means this format is accepted. Same thing for mobile and password. Inside password, you can see if I write here, I am getting this message, uppercase, lowercase number and 6 or more characters. So this is the format our password should contain. Also I can see and hide the password like this. And here you can see the moment I enter a capital letter, a small letter and more than 6. My error has been gone and the color has been changed to green. So this is what I mean by field validation. We are going to apply all these things in this video. Just one thing, I am doing all these things in the front end only. For backend, we can cover that in some other part. So let's start coding. Okay, you can see here, this is my current application where I have implemented this stack navigator and this door navigator. So if you also want to learn about stack and door navigator, then you can go and watch my previous videos. Now let's create the UI for login and register. For that, you can see here, I have created this folder named screens where I have, where I have placed all my screens. So in that, what I will do, I will create a new folder here, name as login and register. And inside this, I will create a new file, name as login.jsx. Let's create a function. Let me just return something. I will just export this page. Now I will go to my app.jsx. And here you can see, I am having this raw navigator. So for now, what I will do, I will just comment this out. And I will import our login page here. And I will just save this. Okay. Let's import the text also. Save this. And you can see I am getting this. Now let's create the UI of our login page. Just one thing that I am not going to focus much on UI. You can find the code at my GitHub. The link will be in description. If you have seen my UI, it was having three sections. At the top, we were having the logo. After that, we were having two input boxes. And at last, we were having the button. So let's create that. For that, this is my view, which is my parent view. Inside this, I will create another view. And in this, I will paste my image, which is my logo. And at the top, I will import it. You can see here, inside this asset folder, I am having these two images, which I am going to use inside my login and the register page. I will come here and write source. And inside source, I can pass the location of my image, which is like this. Inside asset, and my image name is mainlogo.png. And I will hit save. And you can see I am getting my image but it is not perfectly aligned. For that what I will do. I will come to this login and register. Let's create a new file. Name as style.js. In this I will paste all my styling. It is because our login and register page will be having most of the elements same. So that's why I am creating a single style page. Here let's first input our style sheet. So we can import it like this. After that, create a variable name is styles, and we can use stylesheet dot create. And inside this, I will paste all my CSS properties. I have already written it. Let me just show you once, or else you can get this at my GitHub. Now, I am directly going to use all of these properties in our login and register page. Let's export this. Now, I will come to login. 
let's import that Let's use that CSS property. So first, I will give styling here. Style dot logo container. After that, I will give styling to my image and hit save. And you can see I'm getting proper image. Now let's create another view for our input boxes. This will be my input div. For that, I will paste my styling here. Inside this, I will first write the text. And the text styling will be this. And here we can write login. And just hit save and you can see I'm getting this login let's create the text input box at the start you might have noticed that we were not having just a text box but also we were having icons inside them for that what I will do I will create a view give it a styling as action and inside this I will paste my icon and this icon I am using from react native vector icons if you don't know how to use them, then you can check my previous video. Let me just import both the icon which I'm going to use. It's done. After the icon, I will write here text input. Which will be imported from React Native. Inside text input, we can pass placeholder. Which will be mobile or email. And we can pass some styling. Now I will hit save. Let's check the output. And yes, it is looking good. Now let's copy this. Paste it here. And I will change the placeholder to password. And this icon to lock. And you can see it is looking good. Now let's create the button. Before button, I am having forgot password link here. So let's create that. And you can see it is looking good. Let's create the button. For button, I will create a div. Let's give styling here. Let's create our submit button. Done. Let's save this. Let's import touchable opacity. Save this. And yes, it is looking a little bit good. Okay. It is because paste this view after this view. Yeah. Now it is looking good. Now inside this only, I will create other four buttons also. Before buttons, I was having this or continue as link like this. And after this, I can create other four buttons. First, let's create a div for other four buttons. Give styling to them. And this is how I create that button. Yeah, this is the view which is of my parent div of my button. After that, I have written touchable opacity. Inside this, I have given this font awesome and this text which is as guest. And I save this and you can see I'm getting this quickly. Let's create other three buttons. And it is done. Our UI for login screen is ready. Now let's create the UI for register. And after that, we will do field validation. You can see here, I'm having this button sign up and on click of this, I will navigate to sign up page. But here, I'm not navigating because I have not registered this screen inside our stack navigator. For that, what I will do, I will come here. First, let's create a component name as sign up. Sorry, register dot JSX. Let's create a function here. I will just return a text here. Let's export it. And done. Now let's go to our app.jsx. I will come here. I will just remove all this thing. Here I will create another stack navigator. Name is stack. And we can initialize here. Create stack navigator which is this. If you don't know about this you can go and watch my previous video. Then I will come here. I will write navigation container. Which is my parent div. And inside this. I can write stack.navigation which is my child and inside this I can register my screens like this stack.screen here our screen name will be login and its component will be login page same thing I will import register also and I will write here register 
and you can see when I saved it, I am getting this header. So I will come here and write screen options. We have to remove this header. Then I can write here header shown to false. Then when I save this, you can see header has been gone. Now let's go to login. Come inside the sign up, and you can see this is my sign up button. Here inside touchable opacity, I can write on press. Here we have to write navigation dot navigate to our register component. For that, what I will do, I will come here inside my login page. I will create a variable name as navigation. Here I am going to use React Native hooks name as use navigation. It will provide us the method to navigate. Then I will come back to our function. And inside this on press, I will write navigation dot navigate. And inside this, I will pass our component name, which is register. And when I hit save and click on sign up, you can see I am going to register page. Now let's create the UI of our register page. It will be the replica of our login page. As it is going to be same as our login page, what I will do, I will copy this code, come to my register.jsx, paste all this code, and now let's modify it. I will change it to register page. Then copy this, then I will come down, paste it here, then I will come here, change this login to register. Let's save this to check whether it is, yeah, it is looking good. Here I'm going to use another image. Let's pass the name of that image. And it will be signup.png. Save this. Yeah, it is looking good. Here there is no need of this button, so I will remove that. I will change this login to register. Save this and you can see it is looking good. I will also remove this forward password. Now the only job remaining is to add two more fields which is name and mobile. Let me do that quickly. And it is done. You can see I have added two more fields also modified their icons and it is looking good. Now let's do the field validation. 